A young mother says the man charged with killing two hospital workers last month accidentally came into her hospital room right before that shooting. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. She says she and the father of her child hid in a bathroom after hearing shots. A Methodist police officer shot Nestor Hernandez in the leg, eventually ending that attack. 45-year-old social worker Jacqueline Pokua and 63-year-old nurse Katie Annette Flowers died. The young mother we spoke with says Flowers was her nurse. Fox 4's David Centendry shares her story tonight. David. Yeah, the young mother says Hernandez was carrying an alcoholic beverage and appeared dazed and disoriented when he entered her room thinking she was his girlfriend. She says it was just a little bit later when police say he killed two hospital employees. It was scary. It was really scary. 18-year-old Noemi Davia was with her boyfriend and their newborn daughter inside Methodist Hospital's mother-baby unit on October 22nd when Dallas police say Nestor Hernandez shot and killed two hospital employees after assaulting his girlfriend. And we didn't know he had a gun. You couldn't see it. Davia says she was nearly face to face with the accused killer. He came into her room moments before the shootings, just a few doors down from the scene. He was just standing like in front of me and he still didn't realize I was in the person he was looking for. My boyfriend, he asked him, who are you? And he was like, I'm Nestor. Davia believes Hernandez thought she was his girlfriend who recently gave birth to their child. He was like, I came to see her. And he looked at me and he still didn't realize. Davia says she and her boyfriend noticed something off about Hernandez. He looked really like hyped up. He looked at me and then he looked at him and then he looked back at me and then he just walked out the room. She says the encounter lasted less than a minute. She didn't think too much of it. A bit later, she asked her nurse, Katie Annette Flowers to help her get to the restroom. She was really nice with everything. She was really helpful. She was walking out. She was like, okay, I'll be back. I'm going to go get your medication. Davia, likely one of the last to see Flowers alive. She and her boyfriend then heard the gunshots. What happened? Hey, watch out, man, watch out. Like, those are gunshots. I told him to get in the restroom and I locked the door. Her boyfriend called 911. We were hoping she would like calm us down and try to help some type of way. And from there, they heard the standoff unfold. Put the gun down that they could work things out. Throw that gun outside, partner. Come on, work with me. Methodist Medical System Sergeant Robert Rangel shot Hernandez in the leg. Hernandez is now in jail, charged with the capital murder of Flowers and social worker Jacqueline Pakua. They were just trying to do their job. Davia, while hiding, did not know who was around the corner. I was thinking maybe he would try to come back in the room since he already knew who was in the room. Their family trying to stay quiet. I was just hoping she wouldn't cry. One of their happiest days turning into one of the most terrifying. It was a lot. Davia showed us a letter that was sent to her from Methodist Hospital apologizing for her experience there. It does appear to be a generic letter that was sent to a number of patients who were at the hospital during the time of the shootings. It talks about safety procedures and other protocols that will continue to be reviewed. Steve, Heather, back to y'all. All right, David Centenary live tonight. Thanks, David.